Welcome to RSK solution. In this video, we are going to explain you how you can make a DB. As you can see, we have 15 module DB. We are going to make it. We are going to show you how to make a complete DB box. So as you can see, first we are going to arrange the wires. One side we need to arrange them all the earth wires. And one side we are going to arrange the neutral wires. Some countries they have different colors, but the process of the DB is the same. So as you can see, we are going to connect all the earth on the one side and all the neutrals on the one side. You need to make a cable tie so they can stay on the place. You need to arrange them one by one, so make them nicely so the DB look good. You need to arrange them all of them and cut the extra cable ties. After that, you need to put the neutral bar or earth bar on its place. So we need to connect all the neutrals with the neutral bar and all the earth with the earth bar. You need to cut the extra wires, cut them, and after that you need to strip them. If in in case in your DB have less space like this, you need to strip them and you need to put two wires in one place. So you need to fold them like that, one, you need to put it on the one place and also you need to fold the other one and also you can put it on the same place like this. When you're going to make the connection, the connection is going to be good so you're not going to have a loose connection and when you tie the screws, it's going to tie it good and all the wires coming under the screw. Tie them good, make sure all the connections in the DB are good, there is no loose connection, check them very well. Like that you need to connect all the earth wire and all the neutral wires. Then you need to put them the main switches and MCBs. First is coming the main switch, then is come RCD, and then is coming all the main switches. First we are going to put the all 25, then we are going to put them 20, and then we are going to put them 10. Then we are going to put the cover of the DB, so we make sure the screws are coming good on its place. So after complete the DB, we are not going to move all the MCBs to put the cover. After checking this, you need to press them like that, so DIN rail hold all the MCBs and they are not going to move them if you press them good. Then you need to decide how we are going to arrange all the circuits. So like this we are going to make cooker unit, kitchen, living, bedroom 1, bedroom 2 and all of them like that. In this DB we are not going to use a cooker unit, we are going to use the cooker unit as just a stove lighter. So first in case if you have a cooker unit you need to pass 6 mm wire and the MCB you are going to use them 32 arm and 6 mm wire. In case if you are using a cordless, put the cordless on the 7 bar or 7.5 bar and use a good bit for the MCBs and then tie them good and make sure the there is a no loose connection and all the copper wire inside the MCBs and then we are going to connect all the sockets first then we are going to connect the ACs and then we are going to connect the light point first we are going to connect all the sockets and we are going to use 4 mm wire and the MCB of 25 amp for the sockets for each separate circuit we are going to use each separate MCB if we are going to pass it to circuits, we are going to use 25 amp MCB for each separate circuit. You need to connect them all of them one by one. And if we have a AC, we are going to use 2.5 millimeter wire and we are going to use the MCB of 20 amp. And in this DB where we have a two light circuits, so make sure always in the DB you have two light circuit if it's possible. And we are going to use it 6 amp or 10 amp depending on your load. To choose and write MCB is very easy. Suppose if you have lighting circuits and it takes a load of 1200 watts, then you need to divide on the supply. Suppose the voltage is 230, and if you divide like this, it's coming 5 point something, and you can use 6 amp MCB. Then we are going to use the buzz bar to make it all the connections from the RCD to MCB. You can cut the extra buzz bar and make a tape to make it safer in case if somebody touch the DB, it will not get the shock or you are not going to have a loose connection. Then put it on the place, one side with RCD and other side all of the MCBs together and start making the screws. Make sure whenever you use a cordless, never trash completely on the cordless. After finishing the work, use a screwdriver and tighten it by yourself again. And make sure all the connections are good connected, there is no loose connection. Right now you can see all the wires are ready. The circuits are connected. Now we are going to connect neutral bar. To connect a neutral bar with RCD, we are going to use a 10 mm wire, blue wire. So you can strip it like that and tie it with the screw. Make sure whenever you make a connection, tie it very good and never make a loose connection. Calculate it and cut the extra wire and strip it like that and connect it with the RCD. Make sure one side we are going to connect the neutral wire, one side we are going to connect the live wire. Uh, we already connected all the live wire. We, now we are going to connect only just a neutral wire. After that, we are going to make a connection between the main switch and RCD. We are going to use 10 mm wire to make a connection between main switch and RCD. So where we need to connect with blue to blue wire and brown to brown. 
blue mean neutral and brown mean live wire. Now we are going to connect the brown wire mean live supply. So we connect with the main switch and now we are going to connect with RCD. After that we need to check the main switch. After complete the DB is very important you can check the DB with multimeter. You need to check there is no continuity between the brown wire and the neutral wire. So you need to check all of them one by one and then you need to check the RCDs are working or the main switch are working or MCBs they are working in condition. You need to check it from the top and the bottom there should be a continuity between them. You need to check them all of them. Now we need to check the RCD. The wire connections are good. They are in the working condition. This is very important before you turn it on. Make sure all the connections are good. Now you can see we need to connect the main switch with RCD and the neutral wire we are going to connect with the neutral and all the MCBs we connect with RCD with a bus bar. You can check all of them make sure everything is good. All the S are connected with the bar and all the neutral are connected with the neutral wire. Make sure all the wires are connected good. There is a no loose connection. There is a no copper outside and all the wires are connected on the right place. After that we are going to connect the main supply. You can see now the supply is working. You can test the RCD by pressing the test button. Like this the DB is ready. Then we are going to make the cover and then we are going to make the screws. After that you need to test all the apartment, all the flat, whatever you have. You, you need to test all the circuits are good. They are in the working condition. All the light, lighting circuits are connected good. Then you need to label the DB. It's very important to label the DB in case in the future somebody come to make the maintenance. So he will know how the circuits are. He don't need to check all the circuits. Thanks for watching. Hope so. You will learn from this video.